Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read a stem and leaf plot involving decimals. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way to organize and display data. They may look kind of confusing at first, but once you know what you're looking at and how everything is set up, they are fairly simple to read and understand. Let's jump into our example where we have the race times of the students in, let's say, a high school gym class. Now, when working with stem and leaf plots, every value is split into a stem and a leaf. So the race times are split. Here are all of the stems, and then here are all of the leaves. Stems on the left, leaves on the right. Now, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, we need to look at the key right here, and that's going to tell us. Stem and leaf plots can include two-digit numbers, three-digit numbers, decimals, whatever the case may be. So the key will tell us what we are looking at. This key says that a stem of 14 and a leaf of 8 equals 14 and 8 tenths, or 14.8. And this is labeled seconds because we are working with race times. That tells us that the stems represent the tens place and ones place, so the whole number. And then the leaves represent the tenths place. So looking at numbers 1 and 2, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, the stems represent, again, the tens place, the tens digit and the ones place, the ones digit. Or we can think of this as the whole number. And then the leaves represent the tenths place, the tenths digit. For the stems, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Think of the stems like this, and we will start with the stem of 12. So stem of 12, decimal, and then for the tenths place, that's where the leaves go. Then we have the stem of 13, decimal, then we have the leaves. Stem of 14, decimal, leaves, stem of 15, decimal, leaves, stem of 16, decimal, leaves, and then stem of 17 decimal leaves. Let's put this all together, and for example, let's take a look at the stem of 12. So stem of 12, and then a leaf of 3, and a leaf of 7. So that gives us 12 and 3 tenths, and then 12 and 7 tenths. So those are the 12 second race times, 12 and 3 tenths, and 12 and 7 tenths. So 12.3 seconds and 12.7 seconds. Let's move on to number three and do another example. So we have a stem of 16 and a leaf of seven. Looking at the stem and leaf plot, stem of 16 and leaf of seven. So let's put that stem together with that leaf. That gives us 16 decimal, seven, so 16 and seven tenths. And then lastly, for number four, we have list all of the race times that are less than 14 seconds. So we need to look at 13 seconds and 12 seconds. So let's look at those stems. Let's start with the stem of 12, which we already wrote out those race times. We have 12 and three tenths, and then 12 and seven tenths. Now let's move on to the stem of 13. We have a leaf of two, six, eight, and nine. So we have 13 and two tenths, 13 and six tenths, 13 and eight tenths, and then 13 and nine tenths. So those are all of the race times that are less than 14 seconds. Before we wrap up, looking at the stem and leaf plot, we have all of the race times organized. We have all of the 12 second times, 13 second times, 
14 second times, 15 second times, 16 second times, and 17 second times. So everything's in order, grouped, and organized. So there you have it. There's how to read a stem and leaf plot involving decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.